Hello, welcome to Tabletop CP for another Chain of Command Battle Report. Tonight we're taking a little vacation from the uh, European Theater and going over to the Pacific. So I just got done, well not done, but I got enough of the Pacific board completed to play a game. So the board and two armies, so I wanted to get those guys uh, on the table. As is my uh, tradition, every time I finish an art, a unit I have to use it in a game. So my Marines have been done for a while now and been haven't had no action so I got to this point and I said it's time to do a uh, Pacific game so I got uh, a bunch of uh, vegetation coming in extra vegetation to add some uh, extra stuff to the board and a couple more buildings I need to build but for now uh, we're ready to rock and roll uh, I got these I built these rocks out of uh, pink foam painted them up and the trees are just cheapo uh, trees I got off Amazon and I do have one building built it's just a jungle hut probably not gonna take much uh, part in this battle but I put it out here anyway so here we are as the Tarawa 1943 this will be an attack the uh, objective uh, scenario 6 from the rulebook and the Marines will be starting on this side and our objective is to destroy the Japanese bunker that has been holding up the advance on this part of the island. So what that's going to work is I have to destroy the bunker or kill all the occupants. Um, so I can destroy it, or I can't destroy it with direct fire, but I can just I can kill everyone in it if I get lucky. Or I do have a satchel charge and if I can get uh, a man with the satchel charge in, into base contact with the bunker, then it'll be game over. So that's about it. We'll go over the forces real quick and then we'll do the uh, patrol phase. So here we have the U.S. Marine Force. These are the attackers. So this is a Type D 1940 or mid war platoon. So I have a uh, lieutenant, Lieutenant Barnes and his uh, platoon sergeant. I got three line squads, all identical. I have a squad leader, a BAR, and the rest are all rifles. Squad leader's got a rifle. And I have a BAR squad, which consists of two BARs, a squad leader, and the rest are rifles. And that's it for the base um, marine platoon. Here we have the Japanese defenders. This is Lieutenant Tanaka. He is leading the defense of the bunker and his platoon sergeant. I have three line squads. These guys have a squad leader and one light machine gun with two crew. Uh, both of these armies don't, uh, there's no teams. Neither one has uh, two team squads. It's the whole squad is just one big team for both, both uh, armies. So these guys have a light machine gun. It's a little less effective. It's got a rate, a rate of fire of five because it's poorly designed and just not, not a very good machine gun. So they lowered it to five, but it does have a, a rule that gives it, um, it fights like an SMG in close combat. So it gets an extra dice because they were able to mount a bayonet on the front. For some reason Andre found that, uh, quite funny <laughs> a machine gun with a bayonet on it <laughs> does it get more effective than that <laughs> yeah. no well it's an ineffective machine gun but anyway um, so in the light machine gun has two crew so we just figured out he can get about 11 shots at max effectiveness out of that squad he does have this uh, type 89 I think grenade discharger or knee mortar squad consists of four knee mortars Four and, oh, with two crew each and a, and a sergeant. Those fire as if they were a um, rifle grenade. So 18 to 60 inch range, 18 inch minimum, and um, fires two HE, HE2. There a limit on ammo for those? No, the only limit is they can only fire one smoke each, unless you resupply it as a jump off point. Okay. Then real quick, we got some new. Uh, Badass um, markers instead of those old Flames of War ones. We got Overwatch Tactical Broken. 
Uh, I forgot to ask him for pen, but I got these from my friend Tony. He runs uh, Hammerhead Games, and they make all kinds of gaming accessories, like stuff like this, um, and a bunch of other stuff too. A lot of 40k stuff, uh, bolt tax and stuff. So he's kind of branching out into this now, and I believe he's also going to start working on the much sought after base markers. So I told him I'm getting a lot of uh, inquiries about those. So he's hard at work uh, trying to design some that uh, don't damage the uh, the base like <laughs> like these do to mine <laughs> every time i take the those off they chip some of the paint off of the edge of the base so but anyway uh go check his site out uh, hammerhead games he's got all kinds of cool stuff on there so thanks tony for that and that'll do it for the uh kind of intro here so is there anything else I miss anything no i think uh ready to jump into the patrol phase yeah all right, so we'll go ahead and set up the patrol phase. All right, patrol phase complete. Uh, we didn't mark them. I didn't have the stuff out, sorry about that, but these are mine on this side and those are Andre's on that side, so. Uh, oh yeah, he had one over. He had four, I had four. three. I, I rolled, uh, I got four free moves. I put them about six inches apart on the edge, moved them all up. Got one extra free move to get it to basically there. He was able to start on the bunker and he pretty much locked everything down by getting one there. So that locked that down. I was trying to kind of get over in that area and I wanted one in this tree line. The farthest I could get it was there and I couldn't put it within six inches and be immediately behind cover. So it wound up, uh, the jump off point wound up there and my other jump off point wound up there and then sadly <laughs> my other one had to go way the hell back there. Um, it, your, your patrol markers are you didn't have any over here on this side, which would have made my deployment zone a lot wider. Yeah. So, I don't know well, if that was intentional or not. No, it, uh, I was just trying to, uh, you know, get to the center, you know, deny you, uh, advance move. And I did, wasn't, uh, I actually was trying to make sure I got these, uh, jump off points back here, but I failed. I, noticed I probably was going to get one just because you split down this way and that gave me a nice wide arc on this front one yeah <laughs> so I knew I could get one over there so then I just made sure I got one flanked out so I could get one over here and then it was just a bonus that uh, that one landed there off of uh, yeah. um, these two yeah so yeah there's Andres and I've also got one in the bunker that's not shown right so he's got two there, one in the woods on the edge, and then he gets a free one on the objective. So in the bunker, there's like an underground cave system, and then come out that door there, or deploy anywhere within six inches of it, as with a regular old jump off point. Uh, so that's that. Uh, we both rolled force from round nine. Uh, we, we, are very, we are diverting a little bit from the actual rules written in the book. I'm getting 20. I'm going to use 20 support points and Andre is using seven and that's based off of kind of how we've been we've been playing that a lot in the campaign that we've been running the support the attackers always get like way more than the defenders and they still have a hard time the rules as written I would only get half and maybe 10 would be the most I can get and then Andre would get half of that but I haven't attacked in like <laughs> I don't remember how long it's been. I've been defending for two campaigns in a row now, so it's. Been a while. I, have, I haven't. Def I haven't attacked, and I'm probably going to just totally screw it up and get bogged down and pinned and and wiped out. So real inspirational speech there by the platoon. <laughs> <laughs> Men, you're all going to die, but uh, I haven't done this in a go while. Go out there and have some fun. <laughs> all right, so that'll do it, and the attacker gets the initiative, and so the Marines will be starting out. Barnes and the Marines 
This will be the first action of the war. And we got one chain of command point, six. Hey, and I actually use fours now because I got two senior leaders. You're not going to know what to do with yourself. Yes. You know, embarrassment of riches. <laughs> <laughs> the four are brought in uh, Lieutenant Barnes, and the two twos are brought in the BAR squad and one of the line squads, and Barnes put them on Overwatch. So that's it for uh, the inaugural USMC phase. So let's go into the inaugural Japanese phase in Lieutenant Tanaka. Well, all right. <laughs> Not very good. With the two, or I'm sorry, with the one, Andre brought in the uh, machine gun. Just right there, no entrenchment, which I'm kind of surprised about. The machine gun sitting out in the open. And then with the two, he brought in the knee mortar squad off the jump off point over there. And that was it, that was all he could do. So I'm going to the Marines. Just thinking that would not be, uh, that would be hurtful right now. The double phase? Yeah. Okay, so I got, uh, what, uh, three ones and two threes, which is pretty sweet. All right, the three, one of my support choices was M3 75mm half track. So I brought him in there on the edge. There's no road, so I just bring him in by the edge by the jump off point there. Um, he's a wheeled. Half tracks aren't really covered at all. There's either wheeled or track, but there's no half track, so I don't know what the hell. We're going to say it can't go through the jungle, but it can move like a wheeled vehicle. Okay, and then so that was with the three. Uh, I made the two ones. I made a two and brought in another rifle squad and then a three and a one I uh, combined to activate Lieutenant Barnes and he moved himself and those two squads up six inches. So, And now I'm going to fire. So we're going to fire the, uh, I can fire over my guys, we've gone over that before in other videos. So I'm going to fire at the knee mortar squad. So I'll fire the uh, half track first. He's got a HE of six. So two hits. And you are well, considered in the open now, thanks to the HE. So two shots. Two shots. Shot. Okay, so. And the, uh, can. Well, I need to know what the range was on that shot. The range. You can measure any range. Any oh, that's right. Way. We can measure in this game. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> so I, this squad is going to fire at them now, so I guess I should have counted this up before, but I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 total. Should be one less than that pile. Right. Oh, 14. 11 shots at long range onto the knee mortar squad. Even uh, 5 and 6. So we got here three hits. Man, not as much as I wanted. Come well, on, it's more shock. Uh, one shock. Because uh, you're in light cover. Light cover. From the rifles you are. So we got three. Yep. Mm, not good enough. Not good enough. I do have a heavy machine gun on that thing too, but I think. Um, I don't think I could fire it when I fire the gun. Probably. I can't imagine this man <laughs> for... Uh... <laughs> I think they're probably pretty busy firing the main gun. So that'll do it. So now we'll go on to the Japanese phase. Wow. I had a couple of junior or senior leaders for you. But still not really. Well, there's your ones. You're worried about not getting any more ones. Of course, now you brought your team in that needed a one for you. You get a bunch of ones. Yeah. The machine gun has moved up into the rocks on this side. Senior leader has joined them, platoon sergeant. Over here, uh, this is the rest of his support. He brought in that 20 millimeter cannon. Um, to do that, he had to bring a senior leader, M move two shock from the knee mortars. They move back five. They're able to make a space for the gun. So he's going to fire the knee mortars at the infantry squad. Okay, so that's two dice per? Two dice per. So two, four, six, eight. Oh, didn't catch it on the second bounce. 
So it's you. two hits. So two hits as if I were in the open. Let me grab some dice here. Alright, so I'm in the open. Uh, one shock. Okay. Wow. And the gun? Um, it's going to fire on the infantry too. Okay, so he gets uh, six as well. Don't whiff. <laughs> Again. Uh, uh, another yeah, whiff. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Another shock. Not so after all that, you put two shock. <laughs> I was expecting that squad to be pretty much toast. Uh, hanging in the breeze like that, they should have been. Yeah. I think it's maybe time to get out of there. So go to the American phase. All right, another chain of command point. Two ones, a two and a four. With the four, I had to bring in the platoon sergeant. Uh, these guys were in the open. I had to get them out of there. But I also wanted to do the vehicle, so I couldn't make a three. Plus, I had the two shock. So, platoon sergeant came in, took two shock, and these guys uh, bravely ran across that open ground with the three three dice, and they made it nine inches. So they got they were able to make it behind the rock. So that was good. Uh, they did take a shot, point of shock for the run. I also brought in my um, uh, forward uh, observer for my uh, 81 millimeter mortar battery right there. He's out of line inside of the gun, but you can kind of see in that general area. And with the two and the one, I uh, put it in high gear and hauled ass at the uh, half track because I know that that gun has got like AP5. I think I'm only armor three, so he could have taken me out with it. So I got a 12 inch with three uh, dice for the half track and I made it uh, all the way up to there and got out of line sight of the gun so so far everything is looking okay for the uh, Americans so let's go right into Lieutenant Tanaka hmm. that's not bad of course no. <laughs> now Andre and I both have the same problem both our, junior, our senior leaders are on the board neither of us have the adjutant so the rest of our reserves are all going to only come in on a 4 plus He's got three full squads of infantry still in reserve, and I have, well, my secret hidden reserve I haven't revealed yet, plus one squad of guys. With the four, Lieutenant Tanaka has taken a shock off the knee mortar squad, placed a 20 millimeter cannon in Overwatch, and ordered one of the um, knee mortars fired a smoke there and hit. And so now he is now blocking line of sight from my uh, observer, sadly. And then uh, he failed two times to bring in roll now three and a one, trying to bring in a couple squads in. Now we go on to American phase. No fives. <laughs> a lot of twos. <laughs> wow, I can't move my vehicle, but at least he's out of line of sight of you. With one of the fours, I moved uh, platoon sergeant. He moved him back, the spotter. So he can kind of just see past that smoke, kind of do about here. He can also see down that direction, and he is out of line of sight of the machine gun on the hill. Uh, this platoon sergeant also took the shock off these guys, and they moved up, hugged the rocks. They're, they can't be seen by the machine gun on the hill, because they're behind this fat part of the uh, four inches. You can't see through four inches of uh, terrain or trees and then these guys moved up uh, these guys only moved up three inches I was a little scared hearing that 20 millimeter firing over there and then the other guys were able to get up into the into the wood line a little bit and Lieutenant Barnes moved with them and that is all I did so now it is Andre's go here a couple fives that's what I need I'll take it one two four with uh, four platoon sergeant, put this uh, machine gun on Overwatch, and then he kept dropping mortar smoke. We're saying two inch templates, can't see through from the knee mortar. And he fired them all and finally landed one. He had what two or three of them landed six inches. I had left. three twos and then a three. Yeah, the <laughs> so he finally nailed it and once again blocked my line of sight over here. So that's that. 
And that's all you did, right? Uh, machine gun on Overwatch. So yep. that's all I had. All right, let's see what we can do with the Americans. Yeah, a couple fives. That's good, because I got a plan for these this time. Let's see if we can do something with them. And one and two fours. And I can actually use two fours now. Unlike the Germans. <laughs> <laughs> one four. I had two fours, right? Yeah. Uh, this assault element here, or just moved up, creeped up into the woods, staying just four inches back. Uh, with the one, I brought in my flamethrower. I didn't want to bring him in yet, but without a senior leader off the board to tell him where to go, I'd have to roll a one and then a four, and the chances of that are seem not, not that great. And then with the other four, platoon sergeant ordered the observer to contact the battery. And that was it, so Japanese phase. Another one, oh boy, you're getting close to that chain of command thing, chain of command dice. Alrighty, uh, the four Lieutenant Tanaka, uh, they told the mortar squad to advance and they timidly went out four inches. Or wisely, depending on how you look at it, because if he gets too far out, he can't shoot the, the cannon. And then he was able to bring another squad in with the three. So they lined up there, and they do have clear line of sight down to this squad here. So he's going to fire on them with ten shots, machine gun, and five rifles. So you need fives and sixes, because long range. So just uh, three, huh? Three hits. <clears throat> All right. Um, one point of shock. Wow. Return fire. <sighs> Not good enough, boys. <laughs> Not good enough, yes. All right. Um, here we go. Ooh. Double phase. The double Early. phase. I wanted some fives. See, a double phase and three fives would have been, I would have been fine with that. I, why not just get a double phase ending the turn? What do you mean? Oh, that uh, triple phase, or triple six? Yeah. That would have been even better, actually. <laughs> then that smoke would clear. <laughs> okay. Actually, so with the three, I tried to haul ass with the uh, half track and rolled 3d6 and managed to get a five. I was hoping to move him way up and then next turn move and fire, but it didn't work out that way. With the three, uh, the squad leader is going to take a shock off, and then we're going to return fire on that Jap squad. Sorry, Japanese squad over there. Maybe fives and sixes. Same, Same uh, as me. No, I got four. Four on you. Four on me. Oh, uh, it's too sh No, you're in the open. Dead. Too dead. So roll and see if it's your squad leader. Oh, it is. Uh, he's knocked out. Incapacitated. Took one off the helmet. I'll take it. And then one did. Because, uh, yeah, might as well take him out. <laughs> the crew. Because <laughs> I think if you lose all your crew, you reduce your firing. From your no, no, but... Okay, so that was all I did. So now we go back into, I got another phase here. Come on, give me another phase. <laughs> Don't get the. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. That's pretty greedy. Yeah, so that's one, and then I get one more. Alright, so that is. That will be helpful. I did not get a three, though. My vehicle is still. doing nothing. Four, I'm gonna have the platoon sergeant's gonna order the spotter to uh, tell the battery to fire a ranging shot. Which is going to try to land right there. So needing an eight. No. Three. Ooh. Well, that's that's going to blow way the hell out. Maybe eight's five D6. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, let's roll it. Whoa. <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> that's right back towards me. So. And that's five of D6. Ooh, we might actually hit something. Uh, let's see here, that's 10, uh, 18, 20 inches. 
20 inches. It landed right on my flamethrower. <laughs> Damn close. So it landed right there. Okay, we're that's a good spot for it. I think we might call it nine again. inches. <laughs> I like it. It's a good thing I use a ranging shot. <laughs> I think if I would have dropped it and it landed there, I'd be yeah, they're pretty much screwed. All right, so now with the two, I'm gonna fire back at the Japanese squad. So it's 11 shots. Nine, ten, eleven. Only three, uh, four hits, sorry. So four, four hits on the open. Ooh, two shock, three shock and a dead. That squad's getting chewed up right now. Well. Oh man, I keep forgetting to reroll ones. Actually, yeah. All of my squads, uh, one of my, I have to pay one support point per squad if I want to upgrade them to Garands. And I did that for all of my squads except for the, uh, BAR squad. So I probably could have done more damage if I would have been paying attention. But just like me, uh, it it's leader? hard to remember for the longest time. Check and see if it's your leader. Oh, again? No. Okay. So it was one dead and three shock. And that'll do it. So your turn, or your phase. Oh, now he's got a chain of command point. Uh, one, three, three, four. Uh, so with the three and a one, Tanaka ordered the mortar squad over that way. And then over here, platoon sergeant, who doesn't have a name, but should. Think of a Japanese name, Andre. Um, Tojo. Nah, <laughs> not Tojo. <laughs> sergeant Tojo. <laughs> uh, he moved up so we can get into... Uh, attach himself to these guys, removed a shock, and then they pulled back just enough to get past the edge of this wood so that they cannot be seen by this squad. And that was it. Now we go, to, I'm gonna change the color of this dude's dice so I don't actually pick it up here. Now we go back to the Americans. Double phase, come on. Uh, not quite. Half a double phase. Almost. <laughs> This thing in dice, there's no almost, it's you either get it or you don't, right? <laughs> <laughs> I hate when I say that. I almost got it when I need a six, I rolled a five. That was so close. <laughs> Just as close as a one. <laughs> uh, one, three, and a four. Now with the three, I moved um, the half track up. So Andre already told me what he was gonna do. He wanted to get on top of this rock with his mortars and drop them into the half track. Now we can't figure out what how that works um, so if anyone knows let me know because does he just drop them in and every single hit is a hit and if so then it would be pretty easy to kill a half track which probably should be if you're dropping grenades inside of a vehicle <laughs> I mean to kill the crew so I don't know but I just moved him out of line of sight so don't have to worry about it and with the uh, four sergeant uh, I'll think of a name for SWAT uh, Platoon Sergeant is going to order another ranging shot, this time at plus one, so it hits. So the ranging shot has hit, and that will do it for um, for me. Now it is Lieutenant Tanaka. One, two, three, four, five. Look at that. Interesting. Alright, well, Andre's doing something, I did land it as, I did land the uh, spotting shot, obviously, and Andre was there and he moved actually closer to it, <laughs> and I think that was just because this guy, he has a HMG, it says on his uh, entry in the table, so, um, he couldn't get out of, he couldn't get out of range of the uh, barrage anyway, right? It would have been a tough run, um, and then I'd, uh, been in line of the uh, HMG and it's more likely that you'd shoot the HMG at me every turn than yeah. the and then, barrage. And he moved closer that way, well he did remove two shock, and then he removed that way because if not I could have fired the HMG and 
then brought the barrage in. So at least so moving closer to the uh, barrage actually is helping that squad. And then over here, these guys tried to get up on the rocks. They rolled. They got one inch move. And that was it. So as Andre's learning on defense, there's not really a whole lot to do sometimes. So let's roll uh, German, or not German, uh, Americans. <laughs> Who am I? Ooh, man, I can do a lot with that. All right, so I've called in the mortar barrage. Uh, before that, I did have a one, and I was able to bring my um, medium machine gun in. So they went within six of that jump off point. They were able to get stay out of sight of the 200 millimeter cannon. And with the four uh, also, this platoon sergeant put them on to Overwatch. And they are covering this direction. And with the other four, I tried to move my uh, flamethrower up, but he only moved, <laughs> only rolled two ones. So he's scared to move up there. Um, was it, Andre, something about moving into a barrage with a backpack full of napalm? <laughs> something like that. Sir, <laughs> yes, sir, we're, we're moving out. All right, so now the barrage is hit. I'm going to roll uh, four dice per team, per squad or whatever, in per team. So first is the machine gun team, and it reduces cover by one, so they're in light cover. Wow. Three hits. Now I just need you to do that same way. Light cover, so one dead and two, uh, one shock. Okay. And this team, or this squad here, they're in the open. Uh, only got one hit. Uh, just a shock. And these guys are all pinned. And I, I forgot to ask Tony to get me those pin markers, which probably is, would have been a lot more useful than the uh, broken. We could use the broken for pin now if you want. Tony's going to make me some... Uh, Upside down broken as a pin. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. So he's, when he'll make me some pin markers. So. And with the last two threes, I'm not going to do anything. I'm still kind of setting myself up here. I'm playing like Andre. Real slow, but deliberate. I, I was going to say, I don't want to hear any more shit about uh, how long it takes to launch an attack. <laughs> you got to set these things up carefully. You can't just go charging in. <laughs> uh, that's not what I've been hearing before. <laughs> yeah. When are you going to do something? Get off your butt. That's what the CEO always says. Uh, on the opposing oh, side. The opposing, <laughs> opposing CEO says that too. <laughs> All right, what did you get? Two fours and two ones, huh? Woohoo! With the four, uh, we're... We decided to try something new here, um, just for the barrage, and that is we're going to let units in the barrage move tactically. Um, actually, they're pinned, so they move at half. They move at half. Oh. Okay, so he only moved. So we're three, but he he was just trying to get within yeah. nine. So. So he moved. He crawled on his belly through the barrage, and since there's no line of sight, he can remove. Uh, no enemy line of sight. He removed a pin from both the machine gun and the rifle squad. So this is something we're trying new. Um, it does seem silly to us that you can't move at all in a barrage. I mean, you'd still be able to crawl on your belly along the ground. and But you're moving at half speed, so you could never get out of it because it could always be moved to catch up with you if you happen to escape it. But anyway, uh, so that's that. The only thing left he's going to do is going to fire his light machine gun. From the bunker on a one at my guys. So he's got three hits. Three hits. So we do we have said that he does get the bunker is manned with a three man team. And it can activate on a one or if a senior leader is over there. And the machine gun is just a light machine gun, the same as the light machine guns that are in the infantry squads. Alright. So I'm in hard cover, so nothing. All right. Yeah, I'm not springing my. I got to shoot at something. Or should I put? I should shoot back at you. Of course, you're in a bunker. <laughs> <laughs> you never know, though. I can get damn lucky. I roll a couple sixes. I'm fine with it. Or I could always put myself back on Overwatch, assuming I get a four. Yeah, I mean, what else do I have to shoot at with the Overwatch right now? Uh, well, you're the attacker, dude. <laughs> <laughs> 
I am? Oh, man. I thought you were the attacker. <laughs> Don't worry, Andre. It's all going to come down, crashing down here pretty soon, as soon as I get all set up. Yeah, as soon as you get uh, three double phases. Yep. <laughs> I'm going to fire my overwatch, what the hell, back at the bunker. So needing... Actually, is that 24? That's probably more than 24, isn't it? It is way over 24. The machine guns are actually 24 inch range, so needing five and sixes. Okay, so that's that. You're in hard cover, and I ignore the you ignore the first kill because you're a bunker. So you ignore, yeah, you ignore the kill. So it looks like you just took a shock. So I got no way to get rid of shock, do I? Um, not unless you get a senior leader over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I, like I said, that's a three-man team manning the bunker. Okay, so that was my Overwatch, and that was the end of your phase, right? Yeah. So now it is the U.S. Marines phase. Double phase. A five. And only got a one and a four. With the four, at the soon sergeant um, ordered the spotter to move the bra, so he kind of shifted it six inches diagonal towards the bunker. And now we're going to order the machine gun to fire back at the bunker again. Some fives and sixes. And uh, wow, two hits. So just one shock. How do you figure? A five. You rolled a five. Oh, that's not a kill? No, and you're in hardcover only a six is a kill. Oh. I don't get to ignore the first shock too? No, no. <laughs> uh. It just says the first kill. Um, and then with the one, I moved my uh, flamethrower actually got a pretty good run, so, or advance 2d6. He moved up with the rest of the platoon up there. And that's that for, now we'll go straight into Part two of my two-part phase. Hey, another double phase. All right, and some threes and a two. All right, no more excuses. When you moved the barrage, didn't that do damage to me again? I don't think so. Well, okay. Uh, no, because, okay, we have a house rule. Um, a leader can order the spotter to contact the battery, call in the ranging shot, and move the barrage. But in order to roll the 4d6 for every team in it, that you have to have a 1. Oh, okay. So it's it kind of lessens the power of it a little bit. Because it is pretty strong as it is. So. Anyway, so I got another double phase, two threes, and a 2. But no 4s. So I always have an excuse then. No 4s, sorry, I can't make my move yet. <laughs> Three turns in a row and he's still sitting in the cover. <laughs> it's the... The cannon, I can't. Uh, <laughs> I'm scared. All right, I'm gonna come out then. All right, so I had a uh, two threes and a two. I tried to get up on the rocks to fire down onto the damn AA cannon, and I couldn't make it up. Uh, so that sucked. And then uh, these guys just moved up to the edge of the woods, right up to the edge of the barrage. This squad is trying to get up there, and we moved up and got one inch. Uh, and we are going to fire <laughs> at half effect on the gun, but he's going to spring his uh, ambush on me. So let's see here. That's uh, two hits. Why am I so scared of the AA gun? It doesn't do anything. Pretty much. So, but I am in the open because of it. So one dead. And this is not the sergeant. So let's take a rifle now. Oh, I lost a man. The first casualty. Damn, I should have used one of those threes to bring in my last squad. Okay, I'm going to shoot at half effect. <laughs> so I got two BARs, shooting three dice, re rolling ones, and then uh, on the gun. Nothing. But I did get you off Overwatch. Yes. At the price of one Marine. Alright, so second, another phase here. <laughs> another double phase. What? And I still can't move. 
I was gonna say four turns in a row and yeah, when you roll these double up, phases, uh, almost four inches. Well, hey, I tried to move those guys. <laughs> it's not my fault they didn't get up the rock. <laughs> and, I, and then I get a one and a two, so. Um. Hmm. All right, with the two, I'm gonna try to get up to here again. As long as I don't roll a damn one again. Okay, there we go. So I have to discard the highest because I'm going up to a difficult area. Yeah, so with the two, those guys moved up. I did get the M1 Garand upgrade for this squad. It doesn't say it in their uh, book or their uh, data sheet, but they do have Garand, so we're saying that they can do marching fire, which means I can move 2d6 and fire at half effect, which I'm going to shoot at the, obviously, at the 20 millimeter cannon, needing fours plus because I'm pretty sure I'm within 18 there. Rerolling ones. Yeah. Rerolling ones on your favorite rule. So four hits on the gun. Okay, so the two on the gun. And the two on the other dudes. So one shock on each. So I did two shock. Okay, well whatever. And then with the uh, the one, I'm going to have the spotter contact and call the battery in. So the machine gun over on the rock over there. So it's roll 4d6 for them. No, nothing. And then the squad there in the middle. Two, I got a five and a six, so those are two hits. In the open. So one dead. Check your leader. Nope. Okay. And that's all I have is a one and a two. So we'll go right into the next phase. Oh, I thought I saw a double phase again, but no. Only Even, four turns in a row. Only four turns in a row. I still haven't moved. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I need to... I've got to bring in my last squad. I need... Okay, so I'm going to try to bring in my last squad here with the three. Six, so he's coming in. And a four and a one. Um, and let me think about this real quick before I go over this uh, phase. Oh, and he forgot to roll bad things for his uh, dude getting wounded. His senior, his junior leader getting wounded. So he rolled a one, which is uh, it's nothing. Nothing happens. No one cares about him. He's wounded. So what? So. Uh, with the four, I did a lot of stuff over here. I moved that squad up to the edge of the woods, put them on Overwatch, moved the uh, flamethrower up with them. He's going to order that squad to fire. And with the one, did I already call in the... Was that this phase I just called it in, or was this... That was last phase. It was. Or no. I think it was this phase. I used yeah, that one, yeah, you moved it last phase, you okay. fired it this phase. So, with this squad... I'm going to fire through this gap right at the 20 millimeter again. I can see with nine dudes, long range. So we got uh, three hits and soft cover. So a shock. I guess you could spread those out. Uh, I could, but I didn't think about it. <laughs> All right. So what do you got? Two shock now? Yeah. And that'll do it. Yeah, that's all I had. So that's it for me. So Japanese phase. Let's see what they can do. So four turns in a row. Yeah, it didn't look much different. I think we it? could, uh, <laughs> we should be able to overrun uh, the American positions. Triple four. Oh, it's a German roll. And a one. And a one. Right, so these guys moved, crawling on their bellies, one inch towards the rock, I believe. And then over here, uh, air mortars are firing onto this squad, and the 20 millimeter cannon is going to return fire on that BAR squad. And I was able to pull off two uh, shock. And two shock. Yeah. So here's the cannon. So that's three hits. I am in the open because the HE. So one dead and one shock. So let's see if it's the lieutenant. 
Ooh. Ooh. Uh, not the lieutenant. The squad leader. He's knocked out. Um, actually, it could be the lieutenant. All right, so if it's a four up, it's the leader. It is. It's the senior leader who's knocked out. So I didn't actually lose a guy then. Nope. My senior leader was knocked out. So let's roll a bad thing real quick. A three. Senior leader wounded. Senior leader wounded on a three is minus one. Minus one, so I'm down to an eight. Damn, I need that senior leader over there to move all these guys. Now I got another excuse not to do anything. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I forgot that I did bring in a squad. The last squad, and they just came in right there. All right, so that was that. So you get eight shots of the damn mortars. Damn the mortars. Uh, one, on hit. Fours. <laughs> one hit. Two hits. Two hits. I believe that's fours. All right, so soft cover, because it reduces it by one. Uh, I think that's one shock. Uh, yeah. The four of the soft cover yeah. is a shock. All right, so you did something good, though. Well. Well, good for you, not for me. Um, I guess I slowed you down. Well, yeah. More than anything else I could have done. Which is what you want me to do less of is move slower, so you just made me move even slower than that. <laughs> well, end the turn. Get him back up. Nah, no. Nah. <laughs> I roll some threes. All right, so that's uh, that's it for your phase, right? Yeah. Now it is my phase. Come on, double phase. No. Two more fives. Three more fives. Five. Jeez Louise. Maybe I will end the turn. That's a six. <laughs> oh, seriously? I got so many. Wow. I got A3. Yeah, but all I could do, I moved the guys back off the edge so they could get out of that 20 millimeter cannon, and then that was all I could do. <laughs> so what'd you get wind up with? Two, 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 three. All right, well, here we go. Everything under this poor squad. So that's three hits with the uh, auto cannon. Three rending hits. That's one dead. Let's see if it's the leader. No. So we'll just take this guy out. He's laying down anyway. Okay. And the mortars. Uh, four more hits. And they are two shock. So one dead and two shock. So, yeah. Getting all those fives actually screwed me over on this, these guys here. Yeah. I guess I could have used the three to do something with them. <laughs> well. Actually, it probably would have been better because at least they couldn't take all the shooting. At least if those guys would only take the auto cannon. Yeah, that probably would have been a better idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. So. Try it again. I've lost two Marines. That's unacceptable. We'll get a double phase. No. All right then. All right, I took a shock off these guys. Tried to get them down, but I couldn't make it. Um, I moved the barrage over six inches. And with the four, I moved the machine gun over so he can actually get in the fight here and start engaging uh, targets. So I need to get some fire superiority over on this side. I got a vehicle, a machine gun, and an ineffective squad, but maybe I can do it. And you still got two squads not even on the board yet. So, I think that's all I did, right? And I moved those guys off the edge as well. Or maybe that was last. That was time. last. Uh, all right, so three, three, three four, four. four. Uh, so this squad is deployed onto the table from the jump off point just outside of the barrage there. Brave fellows. And then uh, they're going to shoot at this squad here. So that's I think uh, got 11 with everyone. Five and six more. Okay. So needing fours. Re rolling ones. Re rolling ones. <laughs> I always forget about that. I'm still forgetting about that. Man. So how many did you get? So I got six, but I got all hits and all. The rest were ones. That was a perfect American roll. 
So six hits. Uh, three shock. Which isn't bad. Rerolling ones. Rerolling ones on the damage. <laughs> <laughs> the drawback of being Americans. Okay, so they got three shot. Are you firing your Overwatch? Uh, so I'll lose what one shot. Yeah. So he's gonna. He has machine gun Overwatch still. Half firing <laughs> at half effect, so five shots. Which I don't, yeah, I mean, it doesn't say anything about losing it, but you think if you get pinned, you're not on Overwatch anymore. But it doesn't say you lose your Overwatch. But you would think if you were pinned, you weren't, you're not looking around for targets. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, uh. Um, you're looking, you're hugging the dirt. We're, we're, we're looking for targets carefully. That's why we're at half the <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, man. To me, I think if you get pinned, you're done. You don't get to shoot Overwatch, but it does say you get to shoot. So, all right, so I'll shoot back at you. Alrighty. So I got. Uh, normally I have uh, nine guys. And one's a BAR, so that's eight, nine. So that's only eleven. Oh yeah, I got more than you, don't I? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven. I thought I had more. So I have the same firepower as you, huh? I thought I had more than you for some reason. Alright, so I'm gonna shoot back at you. Minus one. So I'll take that out. Ooh, baby. Look at all those. Those are all hits. Really? So that's, uh, what's that? Nine. Why am I only rolling nine dice? I should be rolling ten dice. I'll get one more. <laughs> yeah, why not? Ten hits. That's a game changer right there. You're in the open, so that's three dead. And two shock. Yeah. Could have been better from for me. Let's roll to see what your leader. Got lucky there. Yep. Well, that'll reduce some firepower a little bit. Are you taking the flag guy out? Uh, he was in front. <laughs> yeah, the flag guy usually dies first, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, two shot. All right. So you're gonna fire your Overwatch. Five shots. Um, might as well. Okay. So I'm using uh, four pluses. So two hits. Ooh, a shock and a dead. See if it's my squad leader. No. So how many did I have before? Three? So I'm yeah. at four. And a dead dude. So that was a pretty brutal firefight there. Alright, is that it? No, oh, you still got stuff yeah, over there. A whole bunch uh, over here. <sighs> I'm never gonna get. I'm never gonna be able to get past all this shit. Okay, so the cannon on the machine gun. All right. So four, four hits. hits and uh, one shock. Wow. Hell yeah. Okay, mortars on the marines. That's uh, five. Five it. Uh, so it's soft cover, so two shock and a dead. See if it's squad leader? No, so two shock. So I'm up to four. That's alright. We're doing okay, actually. I got a lot of shock over here. I need to get my damn senior leader back in the fight, is what I need to do. Alright, so is that it? Um. Okay, so here we, we go. Got, we well. got, uh,. I told Andre I wanted to see a bonsai charge at some point, and here we go. We deployed within six of that right within four instantly. So we're going directly into close combat. How many dice do you have? Fifteen. He's got fifteen, I got ten. And fives and sixes are kills, sixes are additional pin. So here we go. Holy sh... Yeah. I mean, 
I wow. only got two. Guess uh, what? Yeah, I'm screwed. <laughs> wow. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> A lot of sixes. So they're all dead. The whole squad is dead. So he's wiped really? out the squad. Well, I only had eight guys in there. I only got seven. Oh, seven? Okay, and then one guy's got seven, six shock on him. Uh, no. So these are each a shock, right? And a kill. Plus these shocks. So three. No, those are kills too. Fives are kills. Fives are kills? Fives and sixes are kills. Oh, okay. So yeah, I could wipe them. What? Damn. Damn. I was hoping to have one dude run backwards. <laughs> yeah, not happening. Three, six, nine with uh, 16 shock uh, spread so out. So can you move up and, and then can you just assault me again? Um, within four? I think we said that because we've had this question before and the uh, we couldn't think of a reason why not. So you can just sweep right through and just take me out? Well, the reason, <laughs> the reason right. that it, um, it, well, what did you do to me? Uh, two dead. Two dead. Yeah. The reason it was never an issue before was um, usually in these assaults, you don't have any. It's usually you take so much damage that you can't keep moving forward. All right, let's do it then. You think the flamethrower will get some kind of bonus? You would think, but uh, I should have put him in Overwatch. I couldn't because my senior leader was killed. Okay, so I, so got I only got one. two guys. <laughs> so I get two extra dice. Two dice is twelve. I got one of you. Uh, Holy shit! You got one of me. <laughs> <laughs> and a shock. <laughs> and a shock. <laughs> yeah. Wow. All right, you okay, going? that made up for the. Well, hold on, it doesn't. We got to see what happens. Those are draw, so we just fight again. So you got, I lose. Why couldn't you have done that on your first play, Andre? Uh, it wouldn't have been as exciting. Uh, shock on you and a kill, and you got him. <laughs> barely, <laughs> you barely got him. <laughs> and you took a shock and a kill, so you're starting to. They were not real enthusiastic about it there, were they? They're getting a little weak now. But, yeah, you wiped out my squad and my flamethrower, which... Now it's going to take another six hours for me to get these two <laughs> squads around. <laughs> Unless I just uh, sweep around. You can try. So you can move up to here. And I think you can maybe get within four of him. You might as well. What else you got to, what else are they gonna do? Um uh, so you can't make it. So I regroup how far? You can occupy the position that I was in. Oh. Which was about right here. So, so you're I too can't. far away. Alright, so that was a pretty effective phase there for Andre. Maybe. Uh, he did tail the squad and my flamethrower, which is what I was gonna use to root that machine gun out. But, uh, yeah, better than nothing. So here we go. I need some good rolls here. Yes. I don't need a uh, six, I know that, so I should be able to do something with that. So with three, I moved the vehicle, he got a good roll. Made it all the way over to here. Uh, that squad over there moved up. And I moved the barrage back over that direction. So now everyone's back under the barrage and pinned. And then, uh, that was a four I'm going to use to fire the machine gun back over at this blob over here. And the three, I removed a pin and tried to get down and remove, rolled two ones again. <laughs> Those guys are not getting off that rock. So what do we got here? This is the machine gun. So three hits. Using uh, 24? I don't think so. Oh, that was just three hits, fives, and sixes? Yep. So you can split them up. Uh, thank you. Um, so, yeah, one on the gun. And two on the boys. So one dead gun crew and one shock on the uh, mortar squad. Man. 
Yeah. Yeah, my I'm pretty much screwed over here. <laughs> I lost my flamethrower. All right, so it's your phase because that was everything I can do. Okay. Double phase. Real quick, we forgot, of course, there's a lot of bad things happened over there after the bonsai charge. So, section. Section wiped out. Wiped out. Two, that's a minus one. Junior leader killed. Four. Junior leader killed. Four is minus two. And then you had a second section wiped out. Ah, oh, man. That's right. The uh, No, it was a support team. The uh, oh. flamethrower. A one. Probably nothing. Support uh, killed and minus one. Minus one? Then I'm down to four, so I'm down a freaking command dice all of a sudden. Ooh, that would have been for last roll. Yeah, <laughs> well, I didn't do anything last roll anyway. <laughs> well, actually, I did kill a guy, but yeah, damn, man. I'm, that assault just wiped my ass out. <sighs> okay. Um, so you got your thing. Yep. All right, I'm, I'm conceding the game. Um, Conditionally. Conditional uh, withdrawal, not surrendering. We, we discussed the... We're pulling the, back a little bit. Given an infinite amount of time, Travis could probably still win this game with the bombardment. Um, unless I... Uh, if somebody rolled a triple phase, then it would all be over. Why is that? Because um, the bombardment would go away and you don't have enough dice. I could get... If I can get the uh, bombardment... I can just keep the turn. I got two command dice, so I can just keep the bombardment going for oh, that's right. two more turns. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, but basically, the, we're, it's getting late here. Like Andre said, we could keep going for another three hours, and I might make it to the bunker by skirting around here, going over the rocks, taking out the machine gun team, and going around and planting the satchel. But that would take another... Who knows how long that would take? I could take a couple more hours to do that. Well... And it's already like 10 o'clock, so... And I guess, and that mean would also mean uh, if uh, I wasn't, uh, if I get lucky and take something out over here, you losing another team would... Uh, well, yeah, I lost, I... So, for me, losing my uh, Lieutenant Barnes to in Wounded, that was pretty much it for me because uh, I had three squads, well, four with the uh, flamethrower, but with some threes and a four, every one of these squads could have been moving all at the same time. But as soon as I lost him, that was it over here. The whole platoon fell apart, and that was that. And not being able to end the turn because the barrage uh, would go away. Yeah, and the only way for me to get Barnes back would be to end the turn. But if I did that, I would have to use both of my dice. One to end the turn, the other one to keep the bras going, but then Andre could have just ended it because he had one, a uh, full chain of command dice. He could have just ended it on the next turn, and then I would lose the bras. So it was a fairly perfect storm of uh, minor crap. That <laughs> well, I wouldn't say minor. Getting my uh, senior leader wiped out or knocked out. Well, completely. By, uh, by minor, I mean uh, not necessarily big things, but the small things yeah. that got you bogged that, down enough that I was able to do that assault on this side. Well, the assault, yeah. That was... That wasn't a minor thing. No. <laughs> that was pretty awesome, actually. That was one the hell Japanese, of an assault. The uh, Japanese wiping out a uh, squad and a flamethrower. Shit, man, I wish I would have put that flamethrower in Overwatch when I had it. Well, I didn't have a chance because my leader was... <laughs> <laughs> so he couldn't have done it. So, But, man. Yeah, over here, these guys just couldn't do anything. I was gonna bring. I was bringing the gun around, the half track around. I thought with the machine gun and the half track and this squad, we could put a hurting on them. But it was kind of nice switching roles, and you know, it's it's hard to just sit back and and be defensive um, with all the time it takes to put together a proper assault. Um, yeah, it's a lot of sitting around when you're on defense. There's yeah. no doubt about it. But I, you know, it's, I feel for the, uh, Amer you know, what it takes to uh, come into this kind of firepower. It's just tr tough to move around the it's very open hard. ground uh, without taking 
so many casualties that your uh, force morale crashes. Yeah. Well, if I could have got that damn barrage over here. This mortar squad is no joke, man. No, they're badass. <laughs> Eight shots of HE. Yep. Reducing the cover. That's that's legit. So that's probably one of the and best they, squads there you can get. Oh, they, they got some good uh, range too. Yeah, up to 60 inch. They do have a minimum range of 18 though. But Which could get problematic, but... Uh, <laughs> if you can get close to them. Well... Yeah. Them with the 20 mil cannon together are a hell of a combo. I mean, that's why I set them back there was they had a decent field of fire and I was pretty sure they wouldn't take too much. Uh, I'm thinking maybe having them have smoke that block line aside is a little too overpowered. <laughs> maybe well, they should just have regular grenades. But it's just one per dude. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, one per dude. Just, I mean, uh, the only, and you only need one two inch, one two inch smoke to, to, hit the, it. to, hold, to change the whole game. So well, I was ready to blast these guys with the barrage, but that two inch, you know, one two inch smoke blocked it, and I couldn't do it. If I could have laid it on these guys, that would have been a different deal. That would have been game over because the half track and everyone could have went over there. You could have put your squads. I was really surprised you didn't buy any emplacements. Um, I was so was I. See, uh, I was expecting to see just sandbag, sandbag, just emplacements and guys in it waiting. And that uh you know that makes a lot of sense but i looked at the firepower on the machine gun and the uh 20 millimeter and i thought you know that's a lot of firepower with that many marines coming in um if i get my jump off points well placed um i can just uh slow him down or funnel him through and um bringing in my reserves later and properly, uh, or maybe even ambush. Um, I was pretty sure I was, well, I wasn't sure exactly how it was going to look, but I did want to set up a crossfire, which worked fairly effectively for quite a while. Even um, though I don't think you ever fired the uh, machine gun except once. But it definitely kept you behind that tree line. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, it didn't work out how I thought. Uh, I'll have to say losing the leader. Attacking's hard enough, but when you don't have the command and control of a senior leader guiding with his three commands, moving squads, and it's almost impossible. When you're attacking, you got to come in in a wave, and if you don't have two senior leaders, so you need a couple of fours after you get everything positioned, um, yeah. Yeah, losing. Even with that, yeah, I mean, you had how many double phases, and you still, you know, yeah. All it was, got you was up into position. Well, also another thing, I had, what, uh, 15 fives. Because I, <laughs> <laughs> I had two full chain of command dice and then two more. Yeah. So that's 15 plus however many random, all the double phases. I mean, I probably had over 20 dice that I couldn't, couldn't do anything apply with. onto the table. Yeah. I mean, when, at the time, it's like, yeah, but then you think about it, that's 20-some-odd things I couldn't do. So I don't know, maybe getting all those things aren't as good as maybe you think they are, unless you can do well, something with them, if you're I in mean, position. The, the, yeah, the double phases are nice if you, you know, got some open ground you need to run across, or, and maybe that would, well, I don't know if you had the double phases after your leader went down, but you might have run your other one over there. I thought about phase. it. Um, I thought about it, but that was a long way to go. Yeah. And. He could have been easily shot through this gap if I stopped here. If you, you not making it would be a real bad move. <laughs> <laughs> it not would be not would not be good, but yeah, the double phases are if you get them at the right time. You got them a little too early. Yeah, and they didn't do me a lot of good, but they it seems like now all they did was take away stuff I could do. So anyway, well, we uh, I think we both understand how difficult it is to launch an attack. I've it's gotten a lot bat, better at it through a yeah. lot of practice. Yeah, you've been doing it a lot. I have, this is the first time I've attacked probably since the, when we first started playing. And uh, I don't know. I still think I could have done it if my senior leader didn't die. I had it set up to sweep around the back end. That the many, flamethrower. That many Marines. Um, I just didn't have the firepower over there. It really would have come down to... Uh, 
Well, with the barrage there, um, you couldn't see. I can't see, so um, it. Yeah, that was my plan. I was gonna barrage that, sweep around the end with three squads and a flamethrower, plant the satchel, because this is blocking your line of sight here. How oh, you could move that, but yeah, but you probably would have pressed in from well, the other side. I was trying flank to. Too. Well, I was gonna try to hold you in place with a squad and yeah. the machine gun over here. But anyway. It was a good game. It is tough, man. Attacking is hard as hell. So, but yeah, like you said, you've been winning some attacks yourself. It's uh, there's a finesse to it, and it's uh, it never goes as well as you want it to, just because you never <laughs> have enough dice to press it as hard as you want to. Never have enough dice, especially when you roll so many damn fives and sixes. <laughs> It's like I'm thinking, all right, I got all these chain of command dice. I never used one. All they did was suck up all, suck up things I could have done with something else. Well, so. and you get so many uh, units out on the board that you yeah. know, you're lucky to move a third of them every well, that's phase. That's what the fours are for. Well, <laughs> <laughs> most of my units were infantry. I could have moved everything except the the half track with the four. Yeah. And I was thinking, okay, man, I got a four, but anyway, it was fun. I've got our first game in with the uh, Pacific board, so next time we use this, hopefully I'll have, it'll look better because I'll have more vegetation and some more terrain and stuff like that. So anyway, thanks for watching this one, and we'll be back next time for uh, another battle report.